Hi everyone, this is Tommy from Stories On Board. I'm going to show you how you can create your very first story map on our platform. On Stories On Board, you can create multiple products to isolate your teams, creating shared team spaces or differentiating your clients. Each product comes with its own product dashboard, where you can store your product related assets, just like your story maps, roadmaps, feedback management related stakeholder insights, ideals, or even portals. On the dashboard, you can also upload files or link external documentations, just like a product vision document that can help your team accessing information all at one place and also emphasizing shared understanding. Now that we understand how the product dashboard is structured, we can create our first story map. You can create your story map based on a Jira project you can start it from scratch, create it by copy, you can also create it from a template, and you can also create by an Excel import, or you can start with our example map. Selecting our example, we will show you how the story map is structured on Stories On Board. This story map is a visualized product backlog of an e-commerce platform. There are three levels on the story map. On the top, there are the goals, or often called epics, these are the high-level goals from a user point of view that they want to accomplish by interacting with the product that you are building. On the second level, there are the user steps. These are the necessary steps that the user need to take in order to accomplish their goals. On the third level, there are the user stories or tasks. These are the tasks that the developer team is going to describe and enable for the user in order to fulfill each of the steps they need to take and accomplish their goals using the product. Now let's have a closer look on the user story. Each user story on the board has their own title, an indication of their parents card from the product backbone, the top level cards and the second level cards. You can also find card annotation and assign new if it's required. There is a detailed description field which you can fully customize. We are supporting markdown structure so you can take advantage of. You can include any draft, or you can also write scenarios or acceptance criteria for the user story. You can also see the status of your card and change that if it's necessary. You can assign team members to this particular card, assigning user persona, changing the card estimation, and you can also modify the priority, business value, and effort of this particular card. In a user-centered product development, it is very important to understand who are going to be your target audience that will interact with the product that you are developing. You can create and customize user personas on Stories On Board. You can identify their behaviors, needs, goals, any pain point, and you can fully customize their appearance as well. And you can assign them to any cards on your board, indicating the user journey. Story maps on Stories On Board are supporting the entire product development lifecycle. During the product discovery, you are defining the high-level goals with the user steps, creating the user personas, establishing the product backbone, and you collect user stories. Once you completed the product discovery workshop, in the next phase, user stories are organized into releases, and you can also provide each of the user story with a priority value, business value, and effort. In each project phases, you can customize the information you want to display for your stakeholders and for the team. You can enable on your cards, user personas, or card annotations. Sharing information with your stakeholders and team members that can drive communication further and emphasizing on shared understanding. In the backlog view, you have a visual representation of your product backlog, and you can also follow up on each of your tasks, how they are progressing over time and changing their statuses. You can also see user story points or any estimation measurement that you set for your cards. You can even create custom workflows defining your own statuses according to your project requirements. Now that we are already working on our first release, we can even narrow our focus. In tracking, we can access each of the release to have a closer look. In the release view, 
you have this Kanban style board only containing those user stories that is in the MVP release, according to the status breakdown. You can see the release start and end date, and you can also enable the backbone structure of the story map. Using release view, you can enable different set of information and drive the communication with your stakeholders. If you are hovering your cards on the board, you can see the relative parents card on the backbone structure. If you need to focus on each of the elements on the backbone structure, you can also select them and highlight only those user stories, which is relevant for your conversation. Once you are done, you can clear the selection. When you created your releases on the story map and you define their start and end dates, you can also access the expected delivery timeline on the timeline view. On the timeline view, you can also adjust your expected delivery time. You can access each of the release details to see its requirements and also status reports and estimation reports. Now that you already know how you can create and manage your product backlog on Stories on Board, it's time for inviting your team members and developing your own product backlog. You can also integrate the story map in real time and bi-directionally with Jira, Azure DevOps, Trello, or even GitHub. Let's create your visual and user-centered product backlog on Stories on Board.